I recently went to extreme lengths to deliver a sample to the vets. <laughs> <laughs> David's team. A, a sample of what? A sample of poo. <laughs> Your own or an animal's? I am not an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gone to the doctor. Though in many ways, these days, it's easier to see the vet than it is to see the doctor. <laughs> so, in an emergency, I would go to the vet. Uh, and also, in my experience, vets tend to like their patients, which doctors don't always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good tip. I know for next time. time. <laughs> so, what animal? Uh, my dog. Oh, why do you have to send the dog? The dog wasn't poo? very well. Why didn't you take the dog to the vet? Did you phone the vet? How did, how did you... Why did the vet ask for a sample? Well, first of all, pick a question, cos you've asked three there. <laughs> <Yeah. do>. <laughs> <laughs> why did you take a sample and not the dog? Uh, because they needed to send uh, the poo away for testing, and that's easier if it is outside of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> but but what, what, what were the extreme measures that you had to take? Um, so, because it was during lockdown, we couldn't go in for an appointment. So, yeah. we had to sort of drop off the sample. Right. So, they suggested I use a Tupperware from home. <laughs> oh, oh, that's quite a large item to fill. It was three days I needed to collect. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. Right. So, where are you storing uh, in... it in the meantime? In the fridge. fridge. Oh, oh. Come on. You know how hard it is to find one that has a lid that matches perfectly? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the only one uh, that we had had writing on from a previous occupant <laughs> of the tub, and it said, chicken casserole for Sarah. Oh! <laughs> because it was lockdown and we didn't want to go when there were people around, instead we took it <laughs> through the night <laughs> and uh, we didn't realise that there would be a big fence and a locked gate. So we had to throw it over a fence. Unfortunately, it landed in the next door's garden and her name was Sarah. <laughs> oh! Now, this led to an unfortunate mix-up. <laughs> well, what are you thinking? You think it's preposterous, I can totally tell. Totally preposterous, from start to finish. And I love this person. I'm sorry to think that she's... Sorry to think that she could behave like this. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, I know, so I know she didn't. OK. So I know she didn't. Lou. So... I don't like to look at lovely Sarah Millican in the face and say, liar, <laughs> but I'm going to. I think once somebody claims to store poo in the fridge, you can say anything to them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, yeah. OK, I think we think it's a lie. We think, think it's a, bit it's a lie? far-fetched. You're unanimous on that. So, Sarah, was it true or was it a lie? It is... True! Oh. Oh. It's true, Sarah did go to extreme lengths to deliver a sample to the vets. Thanks for watching. You know what would be great is if you liked and subscribed. I'm so needy, I'm so sorry. Uh, and why not come and see me live? And uh, the tickets are available at sarahmillican.co.uk. Put the kettle on and settle in.